Welcome back. I'm Monica from LA Parks. Today, I'm with Channel 35 and I'll be teaching Chair Circuit. What you'll need is a sturdy chair, a set of dumbbells, water, and a towel. Let's get started with the march in place. Now, as you're getting your sturdy chair and fitness equipment together, do not forget to like and share today's workout on Facebook. Now, if you do not have access to dumbbells, you can use resistance bands, canned goods, water bottles that are completely filled. Deep and hull up. Exhale, push out, release. Two more, just like that. Nice and tall. Inhale up. Exhale. One more time. Breathe and reach. Good job. Step touch. Arms forward and back. Nice and wide. Any of the movements that we are doing today, you can do it at the comfort of your chair. I can adjust and modify some of the movements that we will be doing off the chair. Friendly reminder, disclaimer, always listen to your body before listening to me. Take those breaks, stay hydrated throughout your workout today. Yes, yes. Last few seconds, increase your range of motion. Arms straight up. Four. Breathe. Last two. Heels will come up, palms up. Bring the arm across the chest, palms up. Keep it up, 30 seconds here. Looking good. We're gonna go into a nice deep side lunge. Coming down, coming back as far as you can. Hands at the hips, toes, knees forward. We're gonna sit back, stand up straight. Repeat, sit on back, nice and tall. Breathing in, exhale, using your glutes and abs at the top. Keep it up, 30 seconds. We're going to sit back into our chair, standing back up, get ready, ready, and four, three, last two, other side on this side, lunge, good work, arms, legs, shake it out, you're going to have a seat, kick your legs, feet forward, so that your knee and ankles are aligned, you can use your armrest for assistance, coming all the way up all the way down or hands free arms straight down to your sides hands up chest level yes taking your time using your leg and core strength here a lot of glute work here and abdominal work so definitely check in exhale squeezing at the top 20 more seconds Keep it up. We're gonna shake it out. And four, three, last two, and time. Sitting all the way back, arms, legs. Shake it out, quick feet, quick feet. While you're here, wiggle those fingers, toes. Moving to baby tiny steps as fast as you can here. Focusing on our upper body, we're gonna do some shoulder rotations, going right into our shadow punches. Get ready, ready, right here. Comfortable wide stance, shoulder roll back. Just for 10 seconds, we're gonna change directions right here. Reverse it, bring it forward. Cleansing breath deep and hold up. Really exaggerate that movement. Two more just like this. Good job. Shake it out. Come forward just a little bit. You're going to bring the arms across the chest. You're going to take your time and focus on rotating from your torso. So right now, focusing more on range versus speed and power. Waking up those abdominals, 
upper body. Last few seconds, come on. So we do have a movement that will require us touching the floor. So you're gonna come down as far as you can. Yes, think about picking something off the floor, placing something on the floor from the comfort of your chair. So you're gonna tap, come up. Once again, tap, come right back up. Moving at your own pace. So as you come down, really squeeze those abs in, focusing on the movements. Your range today, it might be different from yesterday's movement. Yes, pace yourself here, take your time. Now, touching the floor is a little too difficult. You can also come forward, yes, push forward or angle it like you're reaching for something directly in front of you towards the floor, yes. Last you here, moving at your own pace. So remember, when we get into that cardio movement and we are tapping the floor, know that you have options to push forward, chest level, or at an angle towards the floor, yes, without touching. Good job. Let's get started. We're gonna grab those weights. Once again, you want to make sure that you have them close by, either off to the side or underneath your chair if you have the space. All right, we're going to scoot just a little bit without tilting, tipping that chair forward. We're going to go into a hammer curl, palms facing each other, shoulders relaxed and roll back. 30 seconds here, you're going to pause at the top, really flex and slow on your return, your way down. So we want to work, fight against that resistance on your return. You're here for about another 10 seconds. We'll switch to one weight. If your weights feel extra light today, or if you can, using both weights for that overhead tricep extension. Last one here. Good job. All right, for me, I'm going to lower one weight down. Nice, comfortable grip on the weights. Elbows are in, head is slightly forward, all the way down, all the way up. Full extension here. Two counts down, two counts up. 30 seconds is your time. So you feel the work as you lengthen, as you straighten out those arms. Deep inhale, come on down. Excelling at the top, last few here, come on. Last one here. Good job, carefully lower that weight down. Once again, off to your side here, underneath that chair, out of your way, yes. All right, we're gonna do what we did in the warm up. the quick feet. You can shake out those arms, you can completely relax the arms. Moving as fast as you can kick it up, step it up, try to match my pace. Move a little bit quicker with me here. Last 30 seconds, you got this, come on. Quick shake, 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 shake. And then we'll break it up, touching the floor with the legs crossing. Yes, crisscross, tap. Final 20 seconds, we'll take a hydration break. If you need to do some light stretches, you are welcome to adjust. Finish off. Four, three, last two, good job. Quick water break, high five, well done. All right, set up, area is clear. You're gonna have your legs come out and in. So you're here, cross, switch, touch the floor, yes, cross. Switch, touch the floor. What did I say earlier? If you are not comfortable touching the floor, you can push forward, angle that hand down towards the floor without touching. All right? Moving at your pace, I want you to challenge your body. Allow that heart rate to come up a little bit, okay? One minute, let, let's go. Alternate, yes? 
Have fun with this one here. Lean back on that cross. Oh yeah. Switch it up. Lean back. You got it. You're just about halfway. Keep it up. Who's switching it up? Push forward towards the floor without touching. Yes. Last few seconds. You got this. Come on. Good job. All right, quick high five. Shake it out. We're going to go right back to the top with the hammer curls. Tricep extension, quick feet, crisscross, tap. All right, ready, ready. Set up for success. Pause at the top, resist. Let's get it. Well done. Controlled movement here. If you need to stand up, shaking out those legs. Walk, standing strong. You definitely can mix it up with these hammer curls, yes? Really flex. The work, the effort is at the top, yes? Keep it up. Less than 15 seconds. Take your time. Last few, come on. Two strong reps, so when I say squeeze the muscles, be mindful not to squeeze onto those weights. Last one. Well done. Once again, sticking with both weights, I'm going to adjust to one if you need. You can go with none, right? Really flex on that extension. Switching up that count so it's down and up. Down and up. Slow, down, up on one. So it's down, two, extend, yes? Repeat, down, two, extend. Keep it up, come on. Go the work at the top. You got it, come on. Bracing to that core. Last few, come on. Working those triceps. Looking good, what's coming up? Footwork, give me four more. Already halfway, two more reps. Well done, last one, last one. Good job, once again, place that weight off to the side, maybe underneath your chair. You have your arms a break. Quick feet, show me you're fast. 30 seconds. You're always welcome to add the arms, stretching it out, yes. Doing the aquatic water wave here, break into that water if you like, or just relax right here. Last 15 seconds. Shake it out, shake it out. Get ready for that cross, cross, tap. You can always adjust the intensity, the pace. Range on the cross, quick on that reach, that tap. Good job. All right, let's get it. Cross, cross, tap. Lean back. You got it. Sculpting, we're gonna come up and out of our chair. Get ready, ready. I will demonstrate a different option. If you wanna remain seated today, finish off. Last four. Three. Kick it up, come on. Two. Last time each side. Always my right left is one. All right, so demonstrating what I would like to see out of the chair first. You're gonna drive that knee up towards the chest. Upper body comes forward just a little bit. 
are going to extend back. So it's going to be one and one, knee up. The hand is on a chair for balance. Balancing legs spread those toes. Natural slight bend in that knee, yes? Okay, so if you want to have a seat for this one, lean back, yes, knee up. Pause at the top, okay? Yes. Squeeze in, breathe out. All right, so we're here 45 seconds on each side if you are standing up with that rear extension. Otherwise, if you are seated, just keep rocking those high knees. Let's get it. Yes. Oh, I was craving a reverse lunge. We're switching it up today. Yes. I'm big on change. Change your workouts to change your body. Yes. That also means if you can stand up, I'm going to encourage you that you stand up. You can always adjust the movements accordingly. Yeah. Keep it up. You have about 20 more seconds here. So what's happening, what's working? Hip mobility, yes. Legs, glutes and abs, yes. Last one here, my friends who are seated. You can take a little break, shake it out. We're gonna go right back into it again, yes. Everybody else, if you are up, make your way to the other side, same great move. 45 seconds, let's go. Upper body comes forward, high knee. You come forward just a little bit to be mindful of that lower back, yes? Giving yourself a little bit of range of motion on that rear extension, yes? Checking in, balancing leg, that knee is slightly bent, spread those toes. You're almost halfway. So my friends, seated with that high knee, maybe you're gonna hold that knee up one extra second, yeah? Can you give me a two second hold? Yes, and switch. Acknowledge those abs. Wrap up, last few. So the beauty of stabilizing here, as we isolate, focusing on one side, the leg that's not doing anything is doing a whole lot. Yes. Good job. Arms, legs, shake it out, pulling your quads work as well. Have a seat if you are up with me. Hydrate, towel off. After all that sculpting, let's do some cardio. All right, switching it up. So we're gonna step out, step in for four, okay? Punch at an angle, two, three, four, or punch center, okay? Four and four, in and out. Punch, yes. Mix it up. You got it. Four and four. Shh, shh. Let me hear you breathe. To the camera. Yes. Corner to corner. Mix it up. No crossing here with those legs. Real simple in and out. You got it. Come on. Wrapping up. Come on. As you progress, think about adding more power behind your punches, yes? Fifteen seconds, this is it. Four and four, 
Give me an extra if you like. Make it fun, yes? Center here. Good job. Quick high five. Woo. Once again, feel free to towel off. Hydrate if you like. All right, we're going to switch it up. Grabbing both weights again. Using your abdominal strength. Walking the feet out, you're going to come down and up. Okay? All the way down. Think about folding that body in half. Sitting up nice and tall. So be mindful you want the weights nice and close to the body. Yes? Chest is lifted. Neutral flat back. This would be my version of a good morning seated, yes? How does this look without the weights if I'm standing up? So that you get the good gist, the full gist of the workout here, the movements. Arms across the chest, you're gonna hinge on the hips. Flat back, chest is lifted right back up. Better range if you are up, yes. Definitely working more glutes standing. Otherwise, yes, you're with me seated. Small yet effective workout here. Coming down, coming up. 20 seconds. Core strong, really acknowledging here. Back. Abdominals, yes. Last few seconds. Three more reps, yes. Excellent job, last one. Good job. Once again, weights off to the side, out of your way. All right, we're gonna go back to that jog march as we did earlier. If you wanna stand up, you are welcome to come on up. Otherwise, remain seated. Solid minutes. You can hear the music, catch that beat. Pick it up. You can always slow it down, yes. Really swinging those arms forward and back. Lean back, belly button in. Increase that range, drive those knees up to the chest, yes. Oh yeah, who's ready to switch it up now? Arms. Forward and back. Let's get it. Beautiful. 15. A little bit more power with those arms. Full range, full range. You got it. And time. Woo. Hydrate, quick high five. Towel off if you need to. Ready for strength. Mm-hmm. Right on time. All right, we're switching it up again with that weight. This time it's going to be a single weight, not two. Common functional movement, functional training. Coming all the way up. Press up, have a seat. Bring that weight all the way down to the floor. Opposite hand coming straight up. Use that chair. If you need that assistance to come straight up, right back down, okay? Now, if you are not wanting to stand up completely today, no weight at all, just assist up and down. Barely coming up and down, okay? Finish off, this is our final move on strength, yes. Nice and slow. Keep it up. Use that chair if you need to. Oh yeah. Last 10 seconds, quick in and out. Finish off, last time, last side. Oh yeah, 
Good job. All right. We're going to shake it off. Quick feet, quick feet. We got those fingers, toes. Deep inhale up. Exhale, push out, release. Last one, deep inhale up. And exhale, good work. Extend your right or left leg. Lengthen, exhale, reaching for those toes, for your shins, whatever feels good. Nice and tall, inhale up. Opposite leg, full extension, come on down. Nice work. All right, we definitely mixed it up today. Let me know what you thought about today's workout in the comment section down below. Make your way up, we're gonna open up those hips. Right or left leg, breathing in. Exhale, lower down, upper body here, palm space you, pull away, pull away. Center, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, you're gonna sit into it. We're gonna stretch out our shoulders in about 15 seconds. You can always come up a little bit, breathe in. Come on down, exhale further deeper if you can, yes. All right, from here, you're gonna walk your toes, knees forward, fingers pointed down, resting on your quads, not your knees. Elbow to knee, opposite elbow to knee. Come up and switch. Yes, 20 seconds. Shoulders and back. Looking good, keep it up, come on. Last time, each side. Round that back, come on up. Other side, deep lunge. Set up, deep inhale. Exhale, come on down. Switch it up when you're ready, ready. Open up. Walk those hands straight back and down as you gaze up. Nice, strong balance of upper and lower body. Best of both worlds, conditioning with resistance training, shadow boxing as well here. And then of course, cardiovascular. Carefully release when you're ready, ready. Have a seat. Go right into your album pose. Deep inhale, exhale, open up. Yes, we are at that finish line. Just under a minute here, and then you can enjoy the rest of your day. Yes, switching sides, breathing in. Exhale, once again, strike a pose and then gently press on that thigh, really opening up here. If you would like to do some ankle rotations, point flex, yes. Carefully release, nice and tall. Deep and hold up, you're gonna exhale. Round that back. From here, gently shake that head yes, no, maybe so. A couple of neck rolls here. Nice and slow, you wanna roll up one vertebrae at a time, the head's last to come up. Deep and hold up, you're gonna exhale to the right, left side here, gentle press pull. You got it. Nice and tall, lengthen and hold up. Exhale, push out, release. I appreciate you all joining me today. I look forward to seeing you soon. You rock.